Hello, my name's Neil and welcome to today's episode of Retro For You. On today's episode, we're going to be building this here, which is an Amiga 500 1 meg expansion. Now, it's thanks to PCBWay for sending this board and it's thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So, on that note, let's crack on and get on with this nice and easy build. <laughs> If you own an Amiga and you want a nice and easy build to start with, then I suggest this because it's all through hole and it's quite easy to build. There isn't so many components. All you need are some 330NF capacitors, which are here, some 68 ohm resistors, a pile of sockets. You need a two times 28 pin adapter. Now, I bought these two times 40 pins and I'm going to cut it down so it's the correct size. You also need, of course, the most important part, some compatible memory chips. Now, I bought two lots here. I think there's something like 20 chips here, so there'll be enough to build a couple of these. And last but not least, this board, and this was made, of course, by PCBWay, and the link is down below to this board. You can click my affiliate link and you'll get a bit of money off as well. Other than that, let's crack on and get this built. But first of all, let's just have a quick word about our sponsor. This is why I use PCBWay, the top quality boards delivered fast and done right. When it comes to turning a retro dream into reality, it all starts with a solid PCB, and that is where PCBWay comes in. You can start by browsing a huge range of shared community projects ready to go just add one to your basket, wait for the checks to go through and then click order now. So once you've got your project that you want to build in your basket, then you're presented with a lot of options. The most important one being soda mask and what colour you want your boards. After that, you can also select whether you'd like an SND stencil and more importantly, assembly service. So if you're soldering it up to scratch, you can get PCB way to make the board for you and send it you complete. How great is that? What you need to do now is wait a few days and promptly your parcel will arrive. All that's left to do once you get your package is to open it up, remove the well packaged boards. And also what's great is you always get a minimum order of five boards. So if things do go wrong, like they generally do with me, I've still got another four chances of getting it right. So from projects small to big, PCB way is the place to go. Did I also mention PCB Way not only does boards, it also does CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding. It's an absolutely amazing place. So don't forget to check out my link below and all new customers will receive a $5 bonus. Thank you very much, PCB Way. What follows is a brief construction montage.
We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. So here we have the finished product. Now, what I'm going to do, you can probably see from here, it is rather still sticky with flux. So I'm going to stick that in the ultrasonic bath and give it a really good clean. Now, I do want to test this and get it put in the Amiga 500 Plus Plus that I built because I want to get that finished. This is the Amiga 500 Plus Plus board. And as you can tell, it's still not in the actual case or anything so next video what i'm going to do is get this put into a case we're going to install the memory now i can't install this memory expansion because somehow when i built this i forgot to put this port in here which is for the memory expansion now it's just a pin header but i tried to get one off the other board and as you can tell it didn't quite go to plan it ended up breaking so i've got some on order for next week we'll get this built up We'll make sure this is all clean and we're installing an accelerator into this and get it into a case and just get this job finished next week and also test this memory expansion. One thing I did want to ask you guys is why you're here is does the memory expansion fit this way? Because if it fits that way with the chips up, then that's going to be good with the trapdoor and it does seem to line up with the pins because if we try to line it that way, it won't physically fit. It ends up going over this thing here so we need to check out whether that's correct i'm hoping it goes in this way as you can tell it's the same color board because we're all from pcb way so it looks absolutely excellent i've even got the terrible fire 030 as well in the same color as well so it's all going to be black so what we need to do is get all that back together next week before i go a big thank you to pcb way again for sponsoring this video and if you watch this video and you like it, then please give it a thumbs up because it always helps the channel. Also, if you're new here, then hit that subscribe button, please, because that also helps the channel. I'm now over 2,500 subscribers, so a big thank you to everybody that hit that subscribe button. Check down below to my YouTube buddies. You've got the likes of 8-Bit Retro Refix, Captain Commodore, and Joseph. They all do great things. Go along and check their channels out. We also have a link down to the Discord. And if you need to contact me or just want to contact me for a chat and drop me an email at neil at retro and on that note i shall see you next time on retro for you see you soon guys bye